Hi guys, and welcome to my devlog for my game project Deadwater. Deadwater is a looter horde shooter with crafting and survival elements and I guess it could count as a roguelike. Well, it's really complicated, but in today's devlog I would like to explain some of the game loops and what the game is going to actually be. So, first thing first, when you drop into the game, you'll start in a randomly generated city of a set size and you'll have just a melee weapon and that's it. You start to go around and there are going to be lootable objects that when looted will spawn uh, weapons, scrap and items. Now when you see this item you will have two choices. Either you take it or you scrap it. If you take it you can no longer scrap it and if you scrap it you will gain scrap which is the in-game currency that you can use in the market which we'll discuss later. Now that you are armed you will see a few enemies spawning in. You should be able to take care of them quite easily. And as you continue shooting and looting uh, you will reach the ninth hour mark. Uh, the game time. At that point a high tide will arrive and a horde of enemies will spawn. This is the first small challenge for a new player. It will get harder with each level up that you gain. After you die, because the rounds keep getting harder and harder, you will be brought to a, sm a small little main screen where you will have available your inventory your total scrap, stats and the marketplace, where you can buy weapons. Here comes the core gameplay loop. You go into the city, you loot, you shoot, you die, you buy better gear, you level up and you go back. Now, you may be asking if, if the difficulty is going to be uh, just always the same, because if you level up, the enemies level up. Now, I hate bullet punch enemies. I know that in Skyrim, on legendary difficulty, you don't do almost any damage to them because their health bars are so big and you only do quarter the damage. Now here, the only thing that will increase with their level is their damage and their speed. So the higher the level, the more skillful play is required of you, it will die in the same amount of shots. But if you mess up in late game, you will be punished for it by the high damage but if you can outmove them, then you will be rewarded with an easy kill. So the difficulty is dependent on the player's skill. At the end of the level, when you die, you will get all your scrap items converted into scrap and your equipment items will be gone. But you can buy customizable weapons in the market and you don't want to lose them, so if you die with a customized weapon, you will be able to repair it in the marketplace later. Some gameplay has been shown in background and in the next devlog I will show off the player, the weapons that are implemented in the game so far and we will implement some new features, mainly particle effects and the high tide. So that's been all for today, 